Hello viewers, this is Liva Buhay updating you with my garden. And here it is, the fruits of my labor. Today I will be picking up again my berries. Look, some of it was being eaten by some insects. The snails, they love it. Anyway, I'm sharing some of it to them. And here I have it here. Imagine, I only have like five plants of strawberries like two years ago. But now, it gets plenty of them. So as you see. So this is my little corner where I have some of this. Fence it because it's because here in Sweden we have the rinders and they love to eat your plants. Some flowers. So I'll be showing you the things that I will be picking up. And there is no other thing as organic as this. I don't know enough you know, how much it costs in other places, but this kind of strawberries. Here in Sweden, they are not so cheap. They can cost like yeah, 15 US dollars a kilo. Yeah, it is like, how much is it? Like, yeah. I forgot already how too much was it. Yeah. And it's just so plenty. They're growing as what I told you a while ago or in my other videos before. Uh, I'm picking up uh, my strawberries, you know, like every day I get a little bowl of it. Because every day it's a lot of it that really ripes. This plant here actually is a squash. I'm planting a squash so in this area I have my strawberries I have some flowers I have some tomatoes I have some potatoes flowers again and roses and I have there my small lemons or we call it in the Philippines calamansi and more tomatoes and then there I have more of my squash I love squash you know and as you see I'm just mixing it up I usually just mix some flowers into my vegetable garden because they are the ones who will attract bees and bees are very good for pollination and all this stuff that is what they are expert on so as you see if you look at here they are very green and it's a very nice now because this summer of seed and it's not this week the other week it was not so hot anymore we only have like 20 degrees celsius for 12, 20 degrees celsius here i again have flowers i have much more flowers here before and then i had been transferring them it's because i need some place for my other plants so i actually here i dig it up because i will be planting there some zucchini and there are more tomatoes and it's really bearing a lot of flowers this tomato as you see it's a lot of flowers they're really growing nicely and in the corner there I have like an uh, my own grafted where is it my own grafted apple tree you might wonder why I have my apple tree there but actually, I, oh my god, these rose hair are really biting me, these thorns. Ah, 
Yeah, because I think I had said it a while ago, I will be making them like espalier. So in my garden, you see containers, you see pots. And it's because I had been planting in pots and they have to be transferred later on. So it's like that. It's a lot of work, but I'm enjoying it. It's my way of putting out my stress, you know. And it's actually very effective. I just love doing it. Well, of course, it depends upon the person. If you're a person who likes garden, then you find it enjoyable. But if you're the person who doesn't like garden, maybe you will find it something that is quite hard. But, but for me, I just love it. So as you see there, I have like, black plastics it's actually sand I have sand it's like this sand in a beach and I have it it's because I actually use it and mix it with some soil when I plant my apple trees because apple trees is very good to combine some pit moss uh, sand a part of the uh, uh, you know this very good uh, soil so this you mix these things and you will come up with a very good uh, mixture of your soil that is good for your apple trees so as you see I, I collect flowers here and put it in my vase so in during summer I don't buy flowers anymore and these ones they are they're not growing very good because I was supposed to change the soil but anyway I have plenty of them. I have plenty of this mint. I love mint tea. I usually make mint tea out of fresh mint. And uh, I just love it. So as you see, I have here uh, potatoes. They're actually now starting to bear flowers and it means that they're, they're, the potatoes they're down are also growing bigger and bigger so here I have some potatoes that I didn't plant yet I have it in a container and you might ask why I waited why I didn't plant it now it's because I don't want my potatoes to everything everything will grow directly because I want that when we eat it we just pick them you pick that you pick the potatoes that day and then you will really have a very tasty potatoes and uh, that is why the other potatoes I plant it later on so this part I have it here uh, I will make another kind of this size at the other side so that I can also plant because if I didn't have this kind of fence here I have this kind of green fence these potatoes are not here. The rinders have already eaten and already enjoyed eating all these nice leaves and plants here. So I will make again another kind of this on the other side. I will be showing you my other plants. So these are my other plants that I have planted in this area. It is actually like made of wood Daniel's dad made it for me he knows he, he knows that I love plants so his mom is always giving me plants and his dad is always giving me or making <laughs> making a better place to for me to um to plant some beds and so on and here I have they look like cactus they're actually families of cactus and you usually plant them as like covering if you have an area where you have stones and I only have one plant before and it became bigger and bigger and reproducing and reproducing so what I did I divide them into a lot of small containers and as you see I am again recycling 
So later on, when my area is ready, this is a coleus. So as I see, coleus are really very easy. You just, you know, cut, tie, take some cuttings, put it in a, in a pot, whatever, and you would have a coleus. So it's like that. So I have a lot of things to do in my garden, but I love it. These flowers are, re are actually wild flowers. So what I will do with my garden is I will actually, um, I will actually combine wild flowers and the flowers that I got or I bought. So like this. So I have so many things to transfer and to plant and uh, it's like that if you don't have a lot of money to like just pay a company and make you know your garden then so as you see here <laughs> this <laughs> this place is really a mess i have to clean it up so by tomorrow from tomorrow i have to clear it up uh, I don't I don't want to work it here now it's because we still have workers uh, working in the interior of our house uh, and so I don't want to be working here when some people are doing it so that area I do it every day I just dig you know like 15 minutes 30 minutes but anyway all my plants that I will put there are already ready in pots uh, so it looks like that and I will show you again later when they are already done okay so here is another group of my plants and thanks to my sister she sometimes from time to time she leaves actually I live like you ride 30 minutes from here to the town uh, or to the city of Stockholm the capital city of Sweden my sister lives very near there and uh, me you have to ride like around 30 minutes so she usually comes here because uh, she lives in a condominium so she doesn't have an outdoor garden so she usually comes here just like me and our mother she loves gardening and my two other sisters in the philippines they love gardening so as you see this is my plant this plant actually is quite old i have it inside the house and then um, and this one too this part i got it from my in-laws they know i love to plant so they just you know so as you see all these plants I have them actually before if you had seen my other videos I have a lot of sit down videos and all these plants were in that video as you see so if you look around it looks like that it totally looks like I'm in a I'm in a countryside but actually I'm very near the capital city of Sweden which is Stockholm and you just drive 25 if there's no traffic, it's like 25 minutes and you are already in the city. That is the thing. I love it here. And around me, I will show you some wild flowers that are really beautiful. They don't even look like wild flowers, you know. So we will be looking for the wild flowers. So here, this is actually the back side of my house. Uh, so here is the... I will tell you, these flowers, those flowers are actually wild. They just grow everywhere and they can grow there. There's only like small stones in uh, so that area there is actually a nature park. In the middle of it it is um, a lake which I usually spend time and uh, there is our new neighbor here people paint by themselves so that kind of house you buy it and then a company will come all the walls are done 
and they will just mount it. But our house is different because we had, a, had an architect and then we really managed the, the project. We're the one hiring people to work and it's kind of a lot of work on it. It takes time before it's totally done. Uh, but here in front of me, so as you see, Swedish people are like this. They usually love to, be, to build houses where there are, there's a lot of trees. And as you see, you have there these wild flowers. So they are wild, but they are really beautiful. That is why I told you that I usually collect wild flowers around me and I combine them. So if you are somewhere else where you have wild flowers, don't hesitate. Take some wild flowers, combine them with your other flowers, and they are really beautiful. So as you see, it's very nice. It's so nice, wildflowers. So it's a lot of work. But usually, I usually take things one at a time. I don't want to be stressed out. I just want to do things. So. So I will be showing you later when I had already, I had done it again. So anyway, this is Liva Buhai. Thank you so much for watching and see you again later. Bye bye.